Hi everyone, I am Arun Chulkar and today we talk about present value and the future value. How to calculate present value and the future value using formula and using PV and FV function. Is the first example. Here we want to calculate the amount and the compound interest when rupees 1,20,000 invested for 5 years at a rate of interest 8% compounded annually. Here P 1,20,000 R 8% time 5 years and M equals to 1 because interest compounded annually. We use formula equal principal multiply by 1 plus rate of interest divide by M whole raised to the power M into D. Enter. We'll get amount of rupees 1,76,390.37 and compound interest is a difference between amount and principal. So amount minus principal. The answer is 56,319.37. We can solve or calculate future value with the help of future function also. So here we use equal FV and double click on this function. So first of all, required rate of interest. The rate of interest is 8% divided by 1, comma. Then number of periods. Number of periods is M into T, comma, periodical payment. It is not here, so that's why 0, comma, present value. In future function, we always use present value in negative, so minus present value, comma, type, type is required in the case of PMT, so leave it, enter, same amount, with the help of future value function, we we'll get the same amount of rupees 1,76,390.37, and again, compound interest is the difference between amount minus principal. So we are getting the same answer, either we are using future value function or we are using formula. Now the next example where we want to calculate the present value. Here amount we are getting after 9 years, it is 80,000. Rate of interest 12% compounded semi, sorry, quarterly. So M equals to 4 here. Amount 80,000, rate of interest 12%, time 9 years and M equals to 4. We can solve this question using formula equal amount multiplied by 1 plus rate of interest. This is 12% divided by 4 whole raised to the power minus n which is m into t. Enter. We get an amount of rupees 27,602.59. And we can solve the same question using PV function. Equal PV. Double click on this. Now, first of all, rate of interest is required. This is 12% divided by 4, comma. Number of period is M into T, comma. PMT is not here, so that's why it's 0, comma, future value. Future value is 80,000, comma. Again, type is not here, right? Because type is not required because PMT is not given. Enter. We get minus 27,682. Because we get this answer, because future value is positive and the present value always is negative. So please remember here, never put future value in negative. Always put future value in positive and you will get present value in negative. 